they go from right to left in this opening period. It's Dumont against Fritz. And this opening faceoff puck is dropped, and we are underway in Syracuse. The fresh stick off the bench. Houdon shoots, kick save, rebound chance fired wide by Kepke. Charles Houdon has lost another stick. He goes and grabs it as the Wolfpack game the line. Nice play by Jones. Gets down low, tries to bat it out in front of the net. Lurino to Jones, down low, broke it up, came loose, right into the crease of Rushoff, and it's a foot race. Kepke gets there first. Kepke in shorthanded, got hauled down to the ice, and a penalty is called. The right boards now, pokes it into the right corner. Lundquist gave it away to Barry Boulay. Try to pass, now a wrap attempt in front, he scores! Twenty-nine point one seconds to go in the first period. A wraparound goal for Alex Barry Boulay in the crunch. Take a one-nothing lead. Two on one. Final seconds. Day couldn't do much with it as he got defended nicely by Hunter Skinner. A pretty entertaining first period, though. Punch from right to left. Wolfpack from left to right. Short-handed. Here comes Tim Gettinger. Shoots and a save made by Max Legacy to start the period. Three-year-old as puck is carried in by Skinner. Pass to the middle, Richards in and scores! Justin Richards snapping one home from the right circle. He gets his 10th goal in his 70 game AHL career. He gets his sixth goal this season. Maddish is in behind, angled pass to the left point, Clayson, his long shot got blocked. Off the bench, Moran cuts to his left, looks for a lane, out to the front, redirected toward the goal by Walcott, and a save made by Huska. Fritz curls back, looks for some support, hits Skinner, winds and shoots, and a save made by Legacy. Ball to the left point for Clayson, right point Radish, a long shot blocked in front by Lundquist. Huska looking around up the near side wall for Whalen. Final seconds of the period, he'll lift this one up and off the near boards, and that will do it for the second period. From the corner, all right, we're ready to go. Crunch from left to right, Wolfpack from right to left. Puck is dropped third period is a goal. We have a two on one, Sompi with 48 breaking. Sompi trolls in and scores! The toe drag from Otto Sompi, and it's 2-1 crunch, 2-0-3 into the third period. What a strong goal for Otto Sompi. He's got points in five games in a row, and it gives the crunch an early third period lead. Left hashes, spins around again, hands it off to Radish. He'll drive down low on his forehand, cuts to the middle. Radish shoots and scores! What a goal for Darren Radish. It's far down and it's 3-1 crunch. Two goals early in the third period. And Radish, after a good cycle by Syracuse, gets his second goal in the last two games. Green jerseys, a right side shot deflected and a save made by Legacy. The puck is still loose. They scramble away for it, and Legacy has it covered. Now another push and a shove here, and it's Radish tied up with Richards, and Legacy gonna get out of dodge as the linesman step in on those two. First, on his backhand, cuts in front of save. Rebound ends up behind. Here's Fortier, he scores! The line has scored three times in the third period. This time it's game 48, and it's 4-1 crunch. 5-16 to go in the third period. The stick of Taylor. Jeff Taylor off the right wall, backdoor feed, they score. What a pass from Taylor to Zach Jones. Jones was bound to get one eventually, but that was uh, poor awareness for the crunch. And it's a two goal game with two minutes to go in the third period. A strong home performance tonight for the crunch, and they beat the Wolfpack, 4-2. A three goal third period for the crunch. Otto Zoppi, Darren Radish. And then Gabe Fortier for the crunch. One late goal for Hartford, but Syracuse extends its point streak to five games in a row. And they win the game four to two.